welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm going to be recreating a set of nails that I saw on Instagram. I was just showing you there, I'm going to be applying a coat of the Madame Glam's base coat to all four nails first. So yeah, this design that I saw on Instagram was created by a nail artist called Ina Markova. I'm going to leave the link to Ina's Instagram page in my description box below if anyone wants to head over and check out some of her work. She is an amazing nail artist. So you'll see now I've just sped this bit up guys. I'm applying some matte hexes to the cuticle area of this nail and I'm going to do the same on the middle nail as well, which I've done there. Cured that base coat to hold it all in place. Now I've pulled out a major digit poly gel colour 004. I saw someone using this poly gel a few months ago. I can't remember who it was now. And it looked a really, really nice colour. I actually really like the colour. It is a nice, really nice nude colour. But when it turned up, I was a bit peed off because it's quite sheer. But I thought that's ideal for this design, you know, because you need to still be able to see the glitter around that cuticle area. So, yeah, I thought that'd be perfect for this design. So I've pulled that one out. As always, guys... Anything that I use in my videos, you'll find I've listed in my description box below, along with any discount codes that I have as well. This is the first time I've ever used this major digit poly gel, and I really enjoyed using it. It was really nice to work with, although it was a little bit on the sticky side and the soft side. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed using it. So once I've got that where I want it, and I'm happy with it, and it's nice and smooth, I'm going to pop those in the lamp for 60 seconds. Wow, look at that application, guys. That has got to be the neatest application I've ever applied with poly gel. Super neat. Well impressed with myself with that. And it was quite a sticky poly gel as well. So, I yeah, am really impressed with myself. Really impressed. It's only going to need a little buff, that, I think. Maybe a little shaping on this middle one, but yeah. Now I'm going to be using the Umic U432. And I'm going to do a full coat of that on the index finger. Then I'll cure that and I'll do a second coat off camera. I'm using the Madame Glam's Perfect Black. I'm going to do a full coat of that on the pinky nail. Check this black out, guys. Oh my days. This is the blackest, most pigmented black I have ever used in my life. It is. Look at that on a clear tip. Oh, shit. Oh, it's just a dream. Look at that, guys, for one coat. Wow! It's them two outer nails done. I'm going to seal them in with the Madame Glam's No Wipe Shiny Top Coat because I don't want any dust or anything to get on these nails before I top coat them. And obviously, I've got to file and buff them to middle nails. So I don't want any of the dust to contaminate these nails. So because these nails are done, I'm now gonna just seal them in with the top coat. A 
I'm going to give them a cure. Right, now we're on to these two middle nails. I'm just going to give these a quick file and a buff. I don't think, to be honest, they're really going to need much of a file. It's more of a buff than anything. This one might need a tiny bit of shaping. Now I'm going to pop some of that Umix U432 on my palette. I've pulled out my liner brush and I'm going to paint an extended smile line. So I'm going to quickly flash cure that, just in case I knock it or anything. And then on this nail, I want to use that pink again. And I want to do like a kind of swirly design like this. So I'm just going to give that a quick flash cure. I'm going to go in with the Madame Glam's black. I want to outline this smile line, but really, really thin line. Like that. That is perfect. So can we just And then the tip of this nail is going to be all black. So again, I'm just going to go around this smile line. Right there. Just use the brush out the bottle to butt it up. See that line? Give that a cure for thirty seconds. Right now I'm using that black Madame Glam gel polish on my palette again and my liner brush and I'm just gonna do another swirl up against this one. Now I'm using the Madame Glam's white gel paint and I've pulled out my one stroke brush and I'm just going to paint 
a little a butterfly. I'm going to give that a go for 60 seconds. So now I've pulled out a Umic U239. I'm going to pop a little bit of that on my palette. I only need a teeny tiny bit again. And the reason I wanted to do this butterfly in white is because I knew the yellow and the pink wasn't going to cover the black. So I thought I'd go in with the white first. So I want to do a bit of an ombre on this butterfly. So I want the inside of the butterfly to be pink. And then I want the tips to be yellow. I'm going to give that a quick cure. I'm just going to do some little swirly bits. Some little swirly whirly bits. So now I'm going to apply a coat of the Velvet Matte Top Coat to the ring finger and the middle nail. And then just before I cure that, I'm just going to add these two little clear crystals. Cure that for 30 seconds. Then lastly, I'm just going to add a little bit of Umic U213 to my palette, which is this beautiful, really pretty silver. And I just want to go over some of the black lines like this one here There we are guys, that is them all done. What do you think? I'm loving these little fades around the cuticles at the moment. I think they look really, really effective. And I love the MAC glitter. Oh, I just really, really am happy with them. I love them. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. As always, everything that I've used today will be listed below. Also guys, you'll always find any discount codes that I do have I shall always have them in my description box below along with the link to the website. So it's always worth taking a look there to see if I do have any discount codes. That's everything for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I'd love it if you would. Don't forget to hit the little notification bell with your notifications turned on. That way you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And I hope to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.